The following video is brought to you by the guys at the Wrecking and Racing Podcast, a NASCAR podcast made by the fans for the fans. Check them out at www.wreckingandracing.com, facebook.com slash Wrecking and Racing, and Twitter at Wrecking and Racing. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saki here, and welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Racing 2003 Season 2019 mod that I run on Thursday, and we are here at the Paperclip at Martinsville for 50 laps. Denny Hamlin on the pole, Brandon on the outside in that Wrecking and Racing.com podcast, Toyota, and he gets to the outside of Hamlin to complete the pass and lead lap one. On lap two, going through turn two, we're on the inside of Kyle Busch trying to get the power down and get in behind Hamlin here. See if we can look to the inside. Hamlin shuts the door. Kyle almost gets into our rear bumper, and we will settle in third. Lap 10 in turn three and four. Landon Castle leaves the door open just a little bit for Clint Boyer. Landon Castle around, but the crash is not over as Kyle Larson gets into him, and Alex Bowman gets damaged. Bowman certainly gets the worst end of the deal as he collides with Kyle Larson hard, pushing that hood directly in his view. I don't see how he can see where he's going. But on lap 12, under caution, Brad doesn't get the word that they need to slow down. He gets into by Hemrick into Logano and into Blaney as well. So Brad Keselowski suffers damage after the yellow flag had flown. Coming to lap 17 of 50, Brandon leads them off of turn four. Everyone is single file, meaning the conveyor belt should start in a few laps time as we make the bold move down to the inside of Hamlin. Push him up the track just a bit. We will take second away from Hamlin. Brandon still on point. Lap 30 of 50, Brandon catches up to Tanner Barry Hill and Ross Chastain as Brandon starts putting these guys one lap down. Lap 35, even more traffic for Brandon as he goes around Jeffrey Earnhardt with the 38 and 13 right in front of him. Lap 37, Brandon on the inside of those guys, clips the curb a bit into the 13 and the 38, they save it. Brandon will get the power down to pass Ty Dillon and we hover in second. Lap 40, the next cars to fall to Brandon is Brad Keselowski and Landon Castle. Brad is really wounded, missing his entire front end from that incident, and Landon Castle with that rear end damage from Kyle Larson. Coming to lap 43, Brandon on the inside of the Benedetto and Busher, looking next to Michael McDowell. Lap 45, Matt Tist is the next to fall, as well as Ricky Stenhouse Jr. right off his front bumper. William Byron and Daniel Suarez fighting side by side in front of him. Might get tricky to be around. Uh, he's fighting valiantly, trying to get through the lap cars with them side by side. Brandon might have to make some gutsy moves here, but the yellow flag applies. Barry Hill leaves a little bit of the door open for Kyle Busch. Kyle puts it in there. Barry Hill slides just a bit, gets it under control, however, locks up all four, but that is enough to bring out the caution. And the race will complete under caution lap 50. Brandon led all 50 laps here at Martinsville with a dominating performance, and that is going to put him in the final four for Homestead. Congratulations, Brandon. Let's take a look at the top 10 running order. Brandon in first, myself in second, Denny Hamlin third, Kyle Busch fourth, Kevin Harvick fifth, Jimmy Johnson sixth, Ryan Blaney seventh, Bubba Wallace in eighth, ninth place Joey Logano, and rounding out your top ten is the ten of Eric Almirola. Let's take a look at your eight championship runners and see where they all came. Brad Keselowski certainly didn't need that crash coming home in 29. Eric Almirola comes in 10th. Denny Hamlin comes in 3rd. Ryan Blaney finishes 7th. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. first car one lap down in 24th. Kyle Busch with a little bit of rear end damage comes across in 4th. Brandon took the checkered flag. And I'm the last of your championship 8, finishing in 2nd. Let's take a look at the points after Martinsville. Brandon is the first driver to get into the championship four. We are 60 points to the good as long as we leave Texas uh, feeling okay and above 45 points to the good. We will be mathematically guaranteed now that Brandon does not have to fall back on points. It's tight though. Eric Almirola is your cutoff driver. Two back to Blaney, six back to Hamlin. Kyle Busch is five to the good, but Keselowski and Stenhouse have some work to do at Texas and Phoenix, but only two races left before the championship race at Homestead. But like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next week for Texas. Take care.